Okay, good mid-morning. It is a Saturday. Beautiful day, just as we suspected. The weather is cooperating nicely. We've got uh, temperatures today from, certainly from Eureka South to San Diego that are going to be average or above average for this time of year. Probably above average in some areas, like Sa Sacramento is going to be a couple degrees above average. They're going uh, maybe 71 degrees today. The Bay Area, upper 60s, low 70s. De Santa Barbara, upper 60s. And then you get down to Santa Monica, low 70s. And then you get to San Diego, and it's mid and upper 70s. So sort of a temperature footprint that you would expect for this time of year. So it's a, awesome. When you go into a weekend and you're staring down a couple sweet days, all of us are, right? Uh, we got rain coming, but let me get that. We got rain coming. But we've got uh, a nice couple days coming up. So it's going to be very spring-like. You're going to hear birds. You're going to see bees. Flowers are blooming. All that good stuff. So, And we're not far, right? We're only a few weeks from the equinox. So the, the vernal equinox, spring equinox, equal day, equal night. right? So that, the sun angle is changing. Okay, so what can we talk about? We can talk about the fog right now. Here it is off San Francisco. We'll see that in some live pictures. A little bit of fog up by Shelter Cove. Uh, no fog down around Southern California. Let me just point out a couple landmarks that you you probably know this already, but that is Cape Mendocino, right? And then this is Point Conception. And those areas traditionally for me, and, and I don't know if they've changed the rules on it, but these two areas sort of delineate the, 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 the state. It's like, okay, north of Cape Mendocino, it's on for rain. It's just what they do. Um, north of Point Conception to Cape Mendocino, it's like, yeah, they're getting rain. And then Cape Mendocino or Point Conception South, uh, not quite as aggressive the rainfall or as consistent. I know, right? That's just a big broad brush, but it's pretty true. And the surf's always big here. Surf's pretty good size here. Surf not quite as big here. Surf much smaller here because you have to get that wave around the corner. So as we look at the mountains, we got snow. Um, next couple of days, skiing is going to be great. I know this. Uh, I know that uh, the roads are fine and uh, it's a beautiful day. So let's start it off with Mount Tamalpais off in the distance. You see the advection fog. That's coastal fog. The Golden Gate Bridge is right here. I, sh I should have drawn the arrow this way because the fog is actually, well, it is kind of trying to come in through the gate. So it's a low line gap. Sea level, um, see, Golden Gate Bridge is the only... Is with it for, for many miles, I'm trying to think the next sea level harbor like that, you know, gap in the, in the coastal range. There aren't that many, but uh, the Golden Gate Bridge is, has, you know, a sea level gap, which means the fog can spill in. That's all I'm saying. So uh, Golden Gate Park, it is foggy out at the beach right now. Temperatures in Santa Barbara, right, well, today they'll be in the mid and upper 60s. And uh, there's a little controlled burn going here. You see a little bit of smoke. State Street running right there. Santa Barbara's awesome. It really is such a beautiful town. And again, it's going to be a nice day there. Things change around for Southern California. They actually have a shot at getting wet before we do because that first system that comes in kind of Monday, Tuesday, that kind of undercuts, opens the door. I think we talked about this a couple days ago. And then the bigger system comes in for the you know equal opportunity rainfall. The bigger system comes in on Wednesday, late Tuesday night into Wednesday, and we'll see that. We'll see that. So enjoy the next couple of days. If you're in Mount Shasta, you see the high cirrus clouds. Those are an, often an indication of weather changing, right? Because it's the ice crystal clouds moving ahead of a weather system out front, um, right? Because uh, the, the, the surface lows, the troughs and stuff are the um, fronts, moves more slowly because of the friction of the ground. And when you get up here, the high cirrus clouds move more quickly because they're not, they're not being in, 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 impinged by friction. So I hope this makes sense. So the fronts here, let's see if I can do this. The fronts here on the ground, so it's up around, um, well, we'll see in a minute. Let's, so let's take a look at it now. Oh, where can I find it? Here it is. So the front is here, right? And that's where the lower clouds are. That's where the rain is. Here's California here. Um, and what we're seeing right here are these little cirrus clouds. And they move ahead of the front because they're up higher in the atmosphere, the, closer to the, in the jet stream, higher than the jet stream in many cases, or just above it. And so they move friction free. They move very, very fast. Rough number, these fronts move about 25, 23 miles an hour. These serious clouds are easily moving, you know, 50, double that speed, I would say. Um, so we go back to Mount Shasta, or no, we go back to San Diego now. Today, temperatures in San Diego, this is UC San Diego. 
this is their alert California camera too. This is their network. And if you haven't buzzed into these things yet, they're awesome. I mean, they really are. And you talk about nature snacks, right? That's, I, it's some days, like not today, because it's so beautiful. I'm gonna go for a ride or something. But on some days when you, you're it, in the rain, it's fun to go to, you know, San Diego or Santa Barbara or anywhere and just look at the, what's happening out there in real time. Plus, you know, you got the eagles to look at. Um, and so here's the national map. Here is the next system. Kind of how can you see it? Let's see. It's hard to see. You can't really see it. This is just basically a ridge of high pressure going up and over, right? That's the jet stream. So there's a trough to the east of us. But basically, we're looking at this system that's going to slowly undercut come into Southern California on Monday and bring a chance of scattered showers. Rest of the country looks pretty darn mellow. Here is the national forecast. Then we're gonna get right to our forecast. California, West Coast, right? Nothing urgent. Now you're gonna hear a lot about this next weather system, how it's gonna, you know, it's gonna be a good weather system, but there's not a ton of moisture with it. The precipitable water, not really that available, not like an atmospheric river type vent, but it's a good looking extra tropical storm, especially uh, system Wednesday, Wednesday system. Um, and then you've got, uh, so this is tomorrow, you've got wind advisories, you've got winter storm warnings, which is interesting, that's some cold air for them. And then you still have that cool mass of air moving through the inner mountain region, and that's winter storm warnings and snow advisories. And then these browns are, um, uh, wind advisories, these browns here. So what I'm getting at is when you look at that map, you go, okay, not a bad day. I mean, sometimes it's nice to just look down on where you live and go, ah, okay. So I like the visible satellite map, right? When you go to, when you go to here, when you look at that, you go, ah, okay, that's what we got. A little fog at the coast in San Francisco, clear in the mountains, right? You can do a lot of, um, you can do a lot of cool stuff with that. So here is the West Coast map. Here's that system now. And you can kind of, I think this is going to be the piece that undercuts here. And that system down in here is going to come in. It's going to go into Southern California with half the strength, not be a big, big system, but with half the strength. That's on Monday, Tuesday. And then you can see this system just kind of working its way to the north. So, okay. And that's just another look at it. Now we get to the model. Um, we have GFS surface. Turn this down, then we're gonna go here. And we're gonna look at today, tomorrow, there's tomorrow. And then see that piece coming underneath? That's that piece we were looking at. So that's on Monday afternoon. Oh, it's a little later than Monday afternoon. It looks like more like it's gonna be Monday night into Tuesday morning for Southern California. And you look at it, you go, okay, no big deal. But what that effectively does is sort of opens the door for that. And this comes in, this is Wednesday morning. And you see now it's going, this thing's hitting from, Oregon's, uh, even parts of uh, up into Washington State, all the way into Southern California. This system is is covering a lot of a lot of ground, and everybody's gonna get some rain. Everybody's gonna get some rain. We'll look at the the numbers coming up, but you can see that's good. And then you see the bullseye. We talked about this yesterday. That bullseye will be close to that. Again, this is the GFS, so not a horribly granular model because I don't think it's worth looking. Granular doesn't work this far out. Right, so that's like the H triple R, one of these other models that update rapidly, um, more rapidly, or have higher or smaller grid space. But this uh, low going through right now is basically going to push through, bring us a significant amount of rain on Wednesday, and then hang up in the mountains for a while. So this is Wednesday afternoon kind of moves into Southern California. That's a big bump for Southern California down there by the burn zones. You're gonna get a bunch of rain. You're getting an inch and a half, two inches of rain. In some cases, this uh, I think this weather system, this next Wednesday system, Tuesday night, Wednesday, basically um, favors the Central Coast South in terms of more. Everybody's gonna get some, but I, I think more. Okay, so and then here comes something on March 15th, right? More typical storm, Mrs. LA. So you see that, so somewhere around March 15th again. So one more time real quick. Here is the undercut on Tuesday morning. And then here comes the main system into California on Wednesday morning, a day later and pushes through. So right now I'm planning this. So if I got some stuff going on around the house, I'm going to like, you know, work and stuff. So I'm gonna basically tell, tell the guys and myself, okay, Wednesday is your wet day. Yeah, I'm in the Bay Area, right? So Wednesday is your wet day. Um, and even in LA, we, Tuesday is not going to be that wet. It's going to be light scattered showers. You can probably get stuff done. 
but Wednesday is a wet day, and I would count Thursday certainly the first half of the day as wet. So here are accumulations. You see it. This is right. This is right through Tuesday. So LA just it shows precipitable, you know, or it shows quarter inch of rain in San Diego on Tuesday morning, and then you see it pile in. So now I'm going to go all the way through, and you can see right through next weekend. <coughs> excuse me. That's where the rain falls out. That's the rain footprint. So is it manageable? Heck yeah, it's manageable. That's easily manageable. Um, especially if it comes in like it looks like it's going to, not all at once. Again, not a big atmospheric river vent. And then this is the same model, <coughs> GFS accumulation. And I just think it's, you go, okay, where, what am I looking at? Where do I live? And you go, okay. All right, so here we are into Tuesday and then Wednesday our system comes in. So that's on Wednesday afternoon. So, okay. All right. All right. So enjoy the weekend. Weekend's going to be awesome. This is skiing. A lot of folks enjoying that right now. Um, Palisades Tahoe, you do need uh, reservations for the parking lot. So if you didn't, if you're not there by now, you're not getting in. You got to take a shuttle in, which is, I think, you know, I don't know, it makes sense. Keep the valley, keep the cars out of the valley, but it's a hassle with your skis and your boots. I haven't done the shuttle yet, but I'm going to have to. It was fun growing up in paradise and then going to, um, it was, it used to be Squaw Valley um palisades tahoe now um it, going up there was like because we didn't see uh city people right paradise you know 1974 73 72 69 we just these were like oh my god you're from brisbane whoa you're from anything with a san diego san jose San Francisco, it was like, whoa, super exotic. I know, I know. We were kind of rubes, <laughs> or maybe I was kind of a rube. This is um, Heavenly Valley. Was this Heavenly Valley? Yeah, it was Heavenly Valley. And a beautiful day. That's Frances the dog. She is, um, but, but we just got a package. We're getting a lot of packages with the remodel going on around here. So uh, yeah, look at that day. Mm -mm -mm. Not too crowded, not too bad. Temperatures on the slopes are in the 50s today. You might even see, Lake Tahoe could easily see low 60. This is Donner Ski Ranch. And again, big fan of the small ski resorts. Only, I used to ski these all the time. This is one you guys pointed out yesterday. It's like, yeah, I could afford that. Like, like Homewood was like that too. I told you this once. Homewood used to have um, Men's Day, Ladies Day. And they would charge you half. If you were a guy, you were half price, which was genius. And, you know, half price back then was like five bucks. So it was awesome. Here is uh, Ocean Beach. This is right now as of 9.30 or 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning, essentially. Kind of surfable. There's fog out along the coast. We did see that. Um, surf is running four to six foot right now and then it comes back up the next couple of days there are no surf advisories except north of cape mendocino remember where that is there's a, a high surf an, is it a high alert a surf alert or something that's like a click down it's just the weather service going hey ocean ocean can be uh, deadly at this time but it's not they're not telling you not to go in the water so be careful anyway because it's the ocean here is a crab fisherman going out I don't know how the crabbing is at uh, at um, Pacifica Lindemar. See the fog along the coast, um, Pedro Point right here. And then these homes are beautiful up on the hill. And then lots of bodies in this corner. It's a great learner spot, man. Sandy bottom. It's great. I think I talked about this yesterday. It's such a, like, see how easy it is? You just walk out into the water. You don't have to paddle because the hardest part about um, surfing is the paddling. You get tired. Like you get tired, if you're not really fit, it, you just, you're like, you can't, if you can't get out, you can't catch surf. And even if you can get out and you're too exhausted, you, you when you have to turn to go for a wave, you got to have some pop. And if you don't, you're done. So surfing is, somebody asked me the other day, because I, I do a lot of stuff and they go, they go, well, how do you, why do you stay, why do you do so much stuff? And I go, because if I don't, I won't be able to surf. And that is an absolute fact. Unless you get a giant lawn board, or something like that, but I, I kind of still prefer a short board just because I'm not I'm not I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I mean, for me, a long board, which is awesome, they're super fun, by the way, and they're beautiful and done right. Like guys like Wingnut and stuff. But um, I just will get lazy if I get. I, I'll eventually I'll have to get on a long board, but I can still surf. Well, I surf a six eight. If you know what that means, that's to me that's a short board. But I, even my friends laugh and go, "That's not a short board, dude." 
Um, okay, they call it a fun board, which is kind of a slam, right? Uh, how's your fun board? I'm like, no, it's not a fun board. It's my ripstick. <laughs> okay, steamer lane looks fun. And yes, nice weather down there today too. And then this is pipeline right here. This is sort of the back door angle. It's big. Hawaii's eight to 10. Hawaii's going to continue to be big next couple of days. And we're going to, our swell is going to come up um, certainly early into the weekend or, or, or like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, our surf's going to come back up. So that's the ocean. That's the big bear Eagle. I think that's the, I think that's dad on the nest. I was watching him last night or her last night. They switch off mom and dad. Cool camera. You can get it on YouTube. I just like it because it's got what a way to study animals and to see nature, right? To be able to, to have that opportunity to see um, nature up that close. Okay. So what did I say? I said, we got this deal on for, well, how do I do this? Because I'm trying to cover the whole West Coast, right? So basically nothing's going on until Tuesday night, late, early Wednesday morning. Wednesday is, it's going to rain. It's going to be on and off rain. It's going to be chaining up in the mountains Wednesday all day and into Thursday. Thursday around lunchtime, they're going to be chaining up. So it's going to be one of those extra tropical events, which just means it's not an atmospheric river, essentially. It's coming from the north. It's got cold air. Snow levels will be 5,500 5, feet. It'll push into the Bay Area and into Central California and into Southern California all throughout the course of the day on Wednesday. Everybody gets wet one to two inches possible for everybody, maybe more in some select spots. Okay. Hope you have a great day. It is Saturday. I'll see you back here tomorrow.